Hey man, this one, right? Yeah, that one. Which is it on the past? No, sir, it's on stoichiometry. Hello. Which um, it's on stoichiometry question for. Hello. Hi. No, I'm not hearing you. I said topic four, stoichiometry, topic four. question four. Which question? Question four. Okay, this one. Is it this one? Yeah, it's that one, it's that one. Yeah, what's the problem? Like, I, like, I don't understand. Now, the question is, the chemical composition of two substances, the brain is a chicken. W is N A into record A L S I three O two O E sorry X is C A into record A L two S I two O which statements which statements are correct? Okay, what do you think? Now one says W and X contain the same amount of oxygen. Is it true? Yes, oxygen is eight in W. Oxygen is eight in W, oxygen is eight in X. So yeah, that one is a true statement. W contains three times as much silicon as X. This is English language. Three times, no. That was not a true statement. Silicon is two here. Silicon is three in W. It's two in X, it's three in W. If should be three times, the silicon should be silicon in W should be six. Then to be three times, then that statement will go. So two is wrong. The next one says um, X contains twice as much as aluminum as W. Yeah, X contains EL2. Aluminum is one, so twice of it. So one and three. Yeah. Are you okay? Hello. Yes, I'm okay. Please, are you okay? Yes, boss. Okay, good. Um, Kirsten, you're saying something. Yes, I was asking a question on question three I I of stoichiometry worksheet two theory. Okay, okay. So let me look for that one. Okay, yeah, I have the worksheet. Spectrometry worksheet two, right? Theory. I I is that what you are saying? Casting is a question two I I. No question four I I. Question four I I. Mm -hmm. uh, is it no, this one? Define that. I I I I I I I I. Do I have I I I? Is it this one? C I I I. Yes. C -I -I. After the mass of the regent name in ii which remain at the end of the experiment okay the mass of the regent name in ii so that means we need to find ii first which regent is in excess 
explain your choice. So let me use this opportunity to explain um, excess reactants or excess reagents and limiting reagents. Okay. Now we have 4.8 grams of calcium. It's added to 3.8 grams of water. The following reaction occurs. So we have this reaction occurring. What the number of moles of calcium? So since you have mass of calcium giving, we can use mass over molar mass. N is equal to M over ML. N is equal to M over ML. And then you know your mass for calcium is 4.8 gram. Now your MR, that's atomic mass because it's only calcium. For calcium is 40 gram per mole. From your product table, it's not given. So somebody will ask where well, from the 40. The mass number for calcium is 40. Okay. Now 4.8 divided by 40, what are we getting? Anybody with the calculator? Prasanna, anybody with the calculator? 4.8 divided by 40. Yeah, I'm coming. 4.8. Zero point. Zero point what? Zero point one two. Zero point one two. Yeah. Zero point one two. Good. What's the number of moles of water? We do the same thing for water. That's three point six over eighteen. Water is eighteen. H two O. The molar mass of water is eighteen. Okay. So H two O. Hydrogen. So you is get one. zero point two. Zero point two. Okay. Plus sixteen. So this is 18 gram per mole. Okay, good. So here is 0 0.12. So 0 0.2, here is 0 0.2. Mass over molar mass, that's 3.6 divided by 18, 0 0.2. Now, which reagent is in excess? Don't just look at the moles of the calcium in the water and conclude that the smaller one or the bigger one is in excess, sorry. The bigger one is in excess. I told you what you should do. I told you what you should do. So let's look at what we are going to do. We are going to use the equation to find the limiting reactant and then the reactant which is in excess. So calcium is 0 0.12. Water is 0 0.2. Okay, to find the limiting reactant, divide by the balance numbers, their ratios. I'm going to divide this one by one. I'm going to divide this one by two. This one gives you 0 0.12. This one gives you 0 0.1. So obviously, calcium is in excess because from here, 0 0.12 is bigger than 0 0.1. So calcium is in excess. So the reactants or the substance they are talking about, which reagent is in excess? So that's calcium is in excess with a most of. So calcium is in excess. Although calcium's moles is 0 0.12, it's in excess. Water's mole is 0 0.2, it's limited. Okay, it's limited from, because you have that one, 0 0.2 divided by two gives 0 0.1. 0 0.12 divided by one gives 0 0.12. 0 0.12 is bigger than 0 0.1. Cassim, do you understand? Now, we are going to use this to calculate for the, yes, sir. we are going to use this calculate for the mass of the reagent name, which remain at the end of the, now, if calcium is in excess, if calcium is in excess, that means not all was used for the reaction. Some remain, some remain. Now, water is limited. So, for this equation, I'm going to do more ratio and use water's more. Because when, when water finishes, the reaction cannot complete it, com continue again. I know some people are no, say, what is this, all this, you are giving up because you don't, you are not seeking understanding. You are just looking at, oh, we did this in class. So you are just looking at your worksheet and then you are doing baba, chew baba. What if I go, go in there and maybe I repeat a question, probably, and then I mix up values and stuff like that. You'll be stuck. And go for understanding. Go for understanding, you. Now, the moles of calcium is 0 0.12. That is the calcium available for the reaction. However, the 0 0.12, not all was used up because it is in excess. Eh, when Water finishes, the reaction cannot continue again. So not all the 0 0.12 was used up. Water small is 0 0.2. All the 0 0.2 moles were used up. All the 0 0.2 moles. So the moment water finishes, water will determine the water will determine the amount of calcium that must be used for the reaction. If I use all the 0 0.2, how much of calcium do I need 
for the reaction to continue. If I use all my 0 0.2, how much of calcium am I going to use? Calcium is in excess. Calcium is in excess. Calcium is in excess. If they say, if they say calcium is in excess, meaning not all was used up. So if 0 0.2 mole of water finishes, if the water is finished and then let's determine how much moles of calcium was used. So I'm going to use what is more. So here is one, no, there's one here. So one over two times 0 0.2. Two goes here one, two goes here 0 0.1. Now, out of the 0 0.12, calcium used only 0 0.1. Out of 0 0.12, calcium used only 0 0.1 moles for the reaction. Calcium used only 0 0.1 moles for the reaction. What was left? Now, let's go to the question, what was left? So if what was left would be 0 0.12 minus 0 0.1, which will give us what? 0 0.02. So casting for your information, 0 0.02 moles of the calcium mm -hmm. remain. Do you understand? Yes, sir. OK, good. <laughs> If nobody owes up that we clearance, I will not keep long with this class. I wish you all the best. Um, yeah. Sir, can you go through electrolysis? Um, and then that means everybody understands very well. So the least break for all the three please, class. electrolysis, please. What has it done? Like, have you seen the way to put in the RP? The whole of the the... Electricity and chemistry. I'm not teaching what you do that. Okay, so let's what? answer stoichiometric questions. Stoichiometric questions. Uh, come up with the question. Hello, sir. Say. Joseph, say. Hello, hello. Please, for the the multiple choice questions you sent us, the mm -hmm. question thirteen. Can you explain? of question 13 of electrolysis. Can you explain it? Question what? You're breaking. Question 13 of electrolysis. OK, let me look at that. Joseph, so there's some religious conflict going on in the chat, too. So please, yeah, it's, not it's not me. It's, it's not. It's, I'm not part of this, and yes, I'm getting into Okay, I'm listening. I'm coming. Let me sort. Hey. Um, children. Sir, please. Okay. Um, one of the questions that I have said that a student mixed together. Wait, wait, somebody is asking question thirteen. Okay. Ah, uh, you've not done this, so you just ignore. Okay, but the answer is D. The answer is D. Joe, are you there? So, with say, a question like this, come an exam. So, what about have you, done a, have you done a, So, you have you done extraction of aluminium? Hmm? Have you done extraction of aluminium? You've not done that. No. So, why are you wearing your head? Say, because in a way, she. Yeah, yeah, I said, or 15. Hey, who is that? I keep quiet, too. I'm not for the week. I'm telling people. Now, yeah, but oh, yeah, you know, D. D, because we have... We have concentrated aqueous sodium chloride. Now, in a concentrated aqueous sodium chloride. So, oh, who is that? All right, so let's look at it. Now, so here we have concentrated, uh, what's it called? Sodium chloride. Oh, I'll stop the class. Who is this? Just meet yourself. I'll stop the class. 
man them celebrate E, the tracks don't run it on Christmas Day. Somebody tell Doja Cat. Same, there's a certain way you can mute everyone from PC and they can't do anything. No, you see your attitude in with this thing. I'll just stop the class. Mm. I don't know who is that. I'm on the screen. If I'm on the screen, if I'm on the screen, I don't know who is giving. They're looking uh -huh. how to make someone that poo -poo, so that when you're teaching something, the other person will handle. Let me let me hear anybody in this video. I just stop the class. I, mean, I have a question. Who is recording? Me. Prasanna is recording. Prasanna, can you send it to me after? Yeah, can you send it to me on Telegram? Thank yes, you. Sure. The recording is a lot. Now, so let's move on. Please. So. We have um, sodium chloride. We have sodium chloride. Now with sodium chloride, um, concentrated. Hey, we, we, we end here, okay? All right, so...